Welcome to Empower Humans. Welcome again to the Empower Humans podcast. This is episode 78, day four of our special coronavirus podcast daily. Uh, we're trying to get these out daily. So far, this will be the fourth day in a row, and there may be 100 more days or 500, but hopefully less rather than more, and we can get back to the other things we've been talking about. But I'm going to keep you up to date with things. Uh, I didn't mention yesterday the death of Kenny Rogers. He did not die due to the coronavirus, thankfully. I was always a big fan. My mom used to listen to Kenny Rogers on records, and whenever she started playing songs like The Gambler in particular, I'd come running into the room. I was always way into music, (laughs) and I'd start dancing all these things when I was two, three, four years old, maybe even before that, but I don't remember. Uh, So our condolences to Kenny's family and all those other loved ones who are affected by that, and of course all the many fans and friends and uh, everything else, including me and maybe many of you. Uh, also, episodes 77, 78 here, lucky numbers. Let's take those lucky. I live in Vegas, so I'm going to, you know, I know <laughs> I'm just being silly. But uh, as we move forward here, we're going to talk about news today, some more good news that uh, didn't cover yesterday, and uh, some of the number updates and some things with the financial markets. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about speaking to my grandma. I talked to her on the phone, actually, uh, earlier today, and some of what she had to say to me. She's in Minnesota. Uh, I want to always remind you, you are priceless. You are never alone. Reach out if you need to. Nothing can change any of these realities, and uh, empowerhumans.com. We're moving it over to a new uh, host, but it should be up and running much, much faster in the next couple of days, by the way. So feel free to email me, info at empowerhumans.com or at Empower101 on Instagram and Twitter. I'm not on Twitter as much, but uh, feel free to reach out through any of those channels. And as we've been talking about, I set up a page called hope.empowerhumans.com, hope, H-O-P-E, dot empowerhumans.com. We have some numbers there. We have some links there. We have these podcast episodes available there and some links to all of our channels through iTunes and Stitcher and all the various uh, podcasting networks. We're available on all the big ones and maybe some others that I'm not even familiar with. Uh, so all that stuff is linked up there. Some news related to the coronavirus, some uh, hope-filled messages on the podcast, and of course, uh, memes for some comic relief. So look for that. That's towards the bottom of the page, all these memes. And you can scroll through that. They're downloadable. You can share them with all your friends and family. A lot of folks are isolated, maybe a little bored, maybe a little uh, lonely or whatever the case might be. Go ahead and share those memes. Brighten up somebody's day. So again, hope.empowerhumans.com. Let's talk about some of these numbers. And by the way, there's a link related to the numbers that uh, is constantly updated and lots of other world numbers as far as births and deaths and uh, country by country related to the coronavirus and tons and tons of other statistics related to Internet usage and all kinds of stuff. It's all through this site. Uh, The link on our page goes directly to the coronavirus page, but uh, you can scroll through that site. Uh, click around and and see some of these other things I'm mentioning and tons and tons of other stats. But as it stands today, at least, this is Sunday afternoon, uh, 335,511 confirmed coronavirus cases and uh, 14,611 deaths confirmed. Uh, 97,000, almost 100,000 have recovered, which is great to hear as well. In the U.S., we've jumped to over 32,000 cases thus far, and now over 400 lives lost to this virus uh, in the USA. And again, all that stuff is going to be linked up on hope.empowerhumans.com. You can check stats uh, if you're in another country or if you're curious about the other stats throughout the world. Um, I did see the financial markets, the Dow futures for Monday trading are down the maximum allowable limit, which is probably around 1,000 points. About 5% is the maximum limit, I believe. Uh, so that's not good news for the financial markets starting Monday morning. Um, I did see Italy will be suspending mortgage payments in light of this outbreak, this pandemic. Um, the same may be coming to other countries, possibly even to the U S I don't know. I know a lot of people, I, I look around, I'm in Las Vegas or lots and lots, tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of people have lost jobs one day to the next. The governor shut down all these businesses from casinos to restaurants and uh, tons and tons of things that just immediately affected people's lives so quickly. And I want to just reach out and give everyone, if you're in these situations, I want to give you a a hug audibly here. And uh, I I know these are serious times. Again, reach out for support. And by the way, our Facebook group is also linked up on the hope.empowerhumans.com page. Come join the Facebook group. Join the conversation. uh, Share your thoughts and feelings and maybe help uplift each other there. So, 
that that's some of what's going on news wise. Some of the good news that I uh, failed to cover yesterday. Uh, a Cleveland clinic developed a COVID-19 test that gives results in hours and not days. And also good news from South Korea, where the number of new cases is actually declining. So hopefully that's a sign of things to come uh, for the rest of the world, especially where this virus hit a little harder a little later, like in the U.S., um, that this wave will pass as well. Now, I talked to my grandma, as mentioned earlier today, by phone. She's 90 years old. Uh, she was born in 1929 in on July 13th, just before the stock market crash. So she she had some great timing, and maybe hey maybe she's one of the catalysts of that. I'm just kidding. We call her Grams, by the way. And uh, I always remember being with her when I was a kid. She'd come visit us. My parents split up when I was a youngster, and she actually rode the train from Minnesota to Albuquerque and uh, would hang out with us. We rented videos back in those days. We watched Bill Cosby and stuff, and she'd laugh her head off. Uh, no commentary on later news with Bill Cosby, but uh, I got to chat with her today. She's isolated from my grandfather, her husband, of nearly oh seventy some odd years. I don't remember. <laughs> They've been married a long, long time, and uh, they're kind of locked down completely. Very strict on on packages and food and everything else. Uh, lock and key kind of situation. And she's actually in a wheelchair as well, and she experiences some pain, um, but she's in good spirits. Uh, we talked about all the things going on. It wasn't a big, long conversation. We talked for about 20 minutes. I told her she can call me anytime, day or night uh, as well if she gets lonely or bored or wants to tell a story or <laughs> whatever the case might be. Luckily, we all have access. Phones have been around a long time. Cell phones, not so much. Free long distance is a relatively new thing in the last maybe 15 plus years. But uh, we're able to communicate through the podcasts and phones and Skype and uh, Zoom calls and Facebook messaging and all the other social media out there as well. And she's actually on Facebook. She shares stuff all the time and uh, she keeps up with her grandkids and great grandkids and great great grandkids. She's got all kinds of stuff going on. Um, so at least that keeps her occupied. She did say uh, she has a hard time sleeping sometimes with some of the pain she deals with. Uh, she, she stopped counting sheep, she said, and now she talks to the shepherd and she feels like she gets more mileage out of that. So good for you, Grams. I love you. I'm grateful. And if you have other uh, grandparents or depending on your station in life, maybe you have grandkids or kids of your own or whatever, stay close to this these families. Even if they're physically far away, we can stay close to all this technology we've already mentioned. She did mention to me that a guy, and I think she said in St. Cloud, Minnesota, was going to donate a bunch of things from his store that he had to close. And uh, it was loaded into a truck or a van. And then someone stole the the van. So uh, shame on you and the world we live in, by the way, uh, all these sorts of things, they start to happen in situations like this. But let's keep our spirits up. Let's stay uh, on the up and up with each other and respect each other and uh, not go hoard everything in the grocery store. That is the toilet paper and all the stuff that's going on. Uh, you know, I heard of other folks with hand sanitizer. Some of you may have seen these headlines. A guy in Indiana had, I don't know, I think it was over 10,000 uh, bottles of some sort of, of sanitizer, and he was trying to sell it for a greatly inflated price on Amazon. They shut down his account. The authorities stepped in. He was forced basically to donate that. So um, just some of the news going on. And uh, again, I want to just kind of remind you uh, that we can persevere through this. We will get through this. I know a lot of people are suffering and confused and scared and, you know, with the job losses and the kids out of school. It's going to be interesting to see how this thing progresses but I know one thing, we as humans are resilient and resourceful and we can continue forward united and supporting. And once we do get through this, and again, we will, we should be able to come out the other side much more appreciative and grateful of all the things that we took for granted before this. Like like we said the other day and something that we post on our Instagram, uh, all the sporting events will sell out. The restaurants will have a two hour plus wait. Everyone will be grateful to be back in school and for their jobs and everything else. And uh, I hope that that's, that's what happens sooner rather than later. Um, I'm here for you, supporting and loving and, and thoughts and everything else for everyone in the world. I want to make sure that uh, everyone's in the most positive place possible. So I want to leave you with our challenges as always. Study, keep studying, start studying, do the things you need to to keep your mind stimulated. No matter what situation you're in, whether it's like my grandma in a wheelchair on some sort of heavy lockdown or maybe in a looser situation, there's access. If we have access to podcasts like this, you've got access to other things, uh, ebooks, audiobooks, videos galore. Stimulate your mind. Meditate. 
I know of people, by the way, who meditate in silence for two hours a day, <laughs> by the way. Some people might have more time for things like that at, at a time like this. So uh, a lot of insight and mindfulness comes from that sort of uh, practice. So do what works for you. Also make great moments with our families at this time. I've been playing uh, on the Xbox Connect with my boys. Uh, we played the, a bowling game earlier. I shared some videos on our, our Instagram story today, <laughs> screaming and yelling and having fun bowling and getting a little extra exercise as well. They played some other events on there. There's there's like a little sports game you can play and some other stuff to keep active. So there's things in, in and out of the house that can still be done by a lot of people. Um, but make great moments, make great memories. Let's bond with each other. And of course, the last challenge is always let's keep doing this podcast together. Uh, I love you and appreciate you. And I'm here with you. I'm supporting you. And I believe in you. I believe in all of us as humanity. Until next time, empower yourself, empower the world around you. Thanks so much for listening to Empower Humans. If you enjoyed the show, please rate and review this podcast. For more great content and to stay up to date, visit EmpowerHumans.com. We'll catch you next time.